Hey, it's Patrick from JMB Cycles, and we're here to talk about performance machine calipers. Uh, brake calipers a lot of times don't get a lot of love. Um, you're doing modifications to your bike, you do wheels, you know, paint. Uh, brakes kind of tend to take a back seat, which is a bad idea, especially if you have a heavy cruiser bike. The number one name in cruiser industry when it comes to brakes is performance machine. Been doing it for over 40 years and these guys have it dialed. Uh, at first glance, obviously these are much cooler than your stock unit. Here you have your cast unit, um, kind of just a blob of cast aluminum. Here we have two perform performance machine units, um, just beautifully cut, nice uh, form and function to the max here. Uh, performance machine calipers come in a wide variety of fitments, all the way back to shovel heads, all the way up to your most late model bike. PM has a brake for you and everything comes with it. When you order a caliper kit, if it's a rear brake, it comes with the mounting bracket to put on your bike. You don't have to use your ugly cast bracket. It's gonna come with the bracket right for it. Why would you buy expensive calipers other than aesthetics? Okay, well, they're gonna break better and why do they break better? The multitude of reasons. Basically, anytime you can get rid of heat in any kind of braking situation, you, it's gonna result in, in better braking. So to the naked eye, right away, you can see the quality, you can see the craftsmanship in, in the caliper itself compared to the uh, stock blob here. Um, the caliper is gonna dissipate heat better, one, just because of their design. If you look at the backs of these calipers, they're uh, a lot more open on the back. There's not any, there's no material that doesn't need to be there as opposed to this one here where uh, this thing is gonna dissipate heat about like a landscaping brick. Um, so this one is going to give you a lot better heat dissipation just through design itself. And then the calipers themselves, here's a four piston, this is a six piston. Obviously with bigger, more pistons than your stock setup, you're going to get way more bite on your rotor. This, this caliper in particular is a differential bore. So what that means is all of these pistons are different size and they stack them in this way on different sides for a reason. So as the rotor comes through and you start to grab onto the rotor, it creates heat. And gradually these step up, getting bigger and bigger and bigger, dispersing that heat as, as, it, as it gets hotter as you brake and as it, it, the rotor rolls, rolls through. So, better braking, better aesthetics. And it's not just, you know, uh, better braking in the sense that like, well, my buddy said it was better braking, so I get it. And since I paid, you know, X amount of dollars for it, I'm gonna say it's better braking too. This is definitely a seat of the pants right away feel. You get, you get a good set of brakes on your bike, you're not gonna regret it. Most people, if you're gonna spend the money and upgrade your brakes, get a set of braided lines too. It's, it's, a, it's a no brainer. For what you're investing here, you gotta take lines off your bike already. Get yourself a nice set of Kevlar or braided lines because you don't want that. You, know, you paid money at the bottom of your braking system to have this really awesome, this really awesome caliper. Don't skimp on the lines. Get you know you have those stock spongy lines and this, and this really you know awesome caliper at the bottom of it. You're not doing the caliper justice. So if you do decide to go ahead and upgrade your, upgrade your braking system, do the lines too. You won't regret it. If you have any questions about this, uh, feel free to call us at 100 number, talk to our techs, chat with us. If you like what you see here. Uh, subscribe to us on our YouTube channel and thanks for watching.